Hi everyone, um, welcome back to another AWS CDK tutorial and today we are going to make a context to what we are going to build for our pipelines because as we know AWS CDK is a framework to build infrastructure on AWS and so today um, uh, we want to make sure that we have something that we want to work towards that uh, I personally can use and you can benefit as well. Let me just bring my mic a little bit closer to me and let's go ahead and get started all right um so in my msba um capstone project um we were doing soccer predictions for betting right um basically we were trying to predict if we make certain predictions are we going to make money right uh it's not good enough for our context to just predict well it's whether you can calculate your profit and loss if you bet maybe a hundred bucks every time so um, in our pursuit of this, uh, make, making sure that we have a very complete capstone project, uh, we had to go look for odds and we went and found a website that um, really gives us a third party odds. Uh, let me just show you real quick about this website. Uh, give me a second. So as you can see here, football-data.co.uk, this is kind of free. Um, I mean, they said you are free experiment with the data yourselves i mean you know this is this phrase is just telling me that use the data as you will they're going to collect it now how accurate this data is i have no clue i have not done any uh, verification so use this to your own risk right uh but uh, we use this as our benchmark because um at this point at that point right um we weren't uh it is a poc a proof of concept we weren't actually uh, going to per se use this data uh, as uh, as our production service. Um, if you were to work for a company, a sports media company uh, that I'm working with right now, we actually subscribe to um, vendor data. Uh, but because this is a capstone project and this is my master's degree, this has, the, my master's degree um, really is for my personal use, it's not actually for the company. So that's why uh, we source uh, this portion out from uh, from a third party website and we were uh, trying to find odds to populate our, our, our database, right? And so what kind of data, right? So let me show you the, a sample of the data. So this is the Excel sheet, as you can see here, um, e0 is their way of identifying the division of the Premier League basically then you have the dates time home team away team uh, uh, what is this I'm not so sure what F tag means I kind of forgot they have a glossary of what are all these terms are but they do contain uh, important stuff like bet bet 365 home are odds um, draws or away are odds um, they are all in decimal form so the project is all about you know, capturing all this data and putting it into a database. Now, why do I want to put it into a database? Because if you use flat files like this or Excel file like this, you no, know, this, this Excel is only to you and it's good enough only for reporting, but it's not good enough to you know, be, um, be used for applications because you don't really want uh, an Excel file to be used for your applications. Uh, typically, you want a database where you can build different apps out of it. You can modularize the data. You can democratize the data so that everybody can be used, right? And so um, the second thing about flat files is this, um, in and of itself, it's not queryable. Um, of course, if you use Excel, you, if you use Tableau, you can, you can do filters, you can query the data, you can do your cleaning within the, the, the whole um, Excel framework of the Tableau framework. Uh, but when you store it in a database um, it actually helps you to keep some data integrity checks um, simply by means of good table schemas and good database design and so uh, with all these good factors of course all my all the factors of using a database is not um, what i listed is not it's not exhaustive uh, we have a lot of uh, good users for for database especially for security and all that but uh, in this context, we are going to ingest all this data, all this betting data with the game details into a database and we want to make sure that we can query against it, we can use it for our for any project that you want, for soccer. And my focus is actually soccer betting data. Okay, so um, automation is key. So we really want to automate this process as, as much as possible. Um, because you no, know, as a data engineer, you really have a lot of tasks. And ETLs are, is one of the process that 
keeps repeating itself. Now, ETL just stands for extract transform load. You extract data from a source, you transform them into a format that you want, and then you load them into a storage or database, right? So extract transform load. Um, in this case, our data source are flat files, um, but you can have any other sources. You know, it can be an API, it can be a pub sub a message, messaging queue where you are getting real-time data. It really depends on your context, but for our context, it's going to be all these flat files uh, because this is what this website is giving us, right? And um, if you really want to be a data engineer or a data scientist, the first thing that you must learn is data collection and cleaning. Of course, in this process, it's more data collection, not so much cleaning. Uh, but if you really want to be a data engineer, right, ETL is a process that you must ace. So this is just how it goes for our world of data engineering and science. All right, so let's move forward to know what kind of pipelines we are going to build for this and how we are going to bring this project into fruition. <clears throat> you can see here, um, our user um, flow is very simple. Somebody goes to the website and puts the CSV files into this S3 bucket, right? And this S3 bucket will send a notification to a Lambda. Now, a Lambda is a compute service where uh, it's a very small form uh, uh, compute service um, where it contains a, a, a bunch of code uh, Lambda functions and it will just run the code as is. Uh, in, in, and of course, um, in terms of how you code it. Um, basically, um, AWS gives you the power to latch uh, um, small com automated com uh, computing into, um, uh, into S3, such as uh, Lambda uh, uh, or different like step functions. You can, you, you can use com more complicated stuff like that. Um, and so we are going to send a notification that um, somebody has put CSV files here and, and it's going to tell Lambda to load it into their, their virtual machine, right? A little bit, a, a little bit of, of, of computing here. And then it will do its ETL and load it into an Aurora DB database. So this is the flow where, of course, you can extend this framework. You can make it more robust where uh, this database can serve maybe an API. And, uh, and, and you can you can serve more websites or you can of course augment this process where instead of a user putting files in you have a web scraping service that dumps this dumps the files automatically into this AWS S3 bucket and then you will you know just it will just be a automated process that that, that works while you are sleeping so um, it can grow but for our MVP our minimal viable product we really just want to say, hey, we want to take these files, load it into S3 as our storage, have Lambda process the files, and load it into our ORDB database, and that is our proof of, proof of concept, right? So all these components, they are going to be built in AWS CDK. Our focus is not on coding, okay? <laughs> because coding, you can, um, you can go for a Python class, you can go for a lot of classes. But our emphasis here is infrastructure, AWS CDK. And so I will be touching a little bit on coding here and there, but the real deal is AWS CDK. And also I'm not going into a fully productionalized framework. Now, this kind of framework is very bare bones. Um, it lacks certain uh, important stuff like CI, CD. It lacks a VPC, uh, uh, in, an internal VPC setting where it's secure, encryption, all that. I'm not dealing with all these things because it's too much. And uh, according to your company's um, you know, security policies, according to your company's way of doing things, uh, these things might change uh, uh, no, no, uh, to your context. But uh, for our POC, we just want to make sure that it's very bare bones, it's very clean. And moving forward, once we get over this version one as our MVP, we can add in more elements like version two, version three, where we add stuff like CI CDs, code pipeline, code build, and push out a product productionalized system that you can use and of course build your own data pipeline. And of course, um, AWS also has different services, not just using this um, this um, framework, uh, this this data pipeline. Uh, they have very specific services like AWS 
data pipeline. <laughs> Actually, the, the, the name is just AWS data pipeline. And so you can use such services to augment your data pipelines. But for our uh, context here, uh, I really want to showcase how you can build different AWS resources and use it for your own so that you can do, bring it home, do it, do it for your own projects, or you can bring it for work and whatsoever. Okay. And so all these components like S3, Lambda, and AuroraDB, they have their own settings and nuances. We will de definitely make sure that uh, we touch on uh, important specifics. But again, uh, we will not dive so deep into the weeds where uh, you know, I, I, do, I don't really want to deal with uh, uh, Lambda layers and all that. For now, for now, uh, in future videos, definitely we will make sure that we can uh, uh, make this system a little bit more robust a little bit more production ready and again uh, 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 we want just want to make sure that we get our feet wet with uh, our with this um, AWS CDK and in future videos we will dive real deep into how we can productionalize this uh, at scale all right so um, that's all that I want to talk about today uh, so look forward for more AWS CDK. Uh, subscribe if you like the content and do, do give me your feedback on the comments. My name is Jonathan and I will see you guys next time for another video.